Switch right away to Congressman Kevin Brady from Texas, who most regrettably is retiring. I hate to see it. Um, Kevin, as somebody who really was the principal author of the successful Trump tax cuts back in 2017, you were indefatigable and deserve enormous credit, which is why we're sad you're retiring, but I guess you'll be happy going home to Texas. But um, one of the things I'm raising about this monstrosity of anonymous bill is it has implicit tax hikes in it. It's taking away the bonus depreciation uh, for the research and development tax credit and for equipment expensing. And I think the Republicans shouldn't have given up on that in the Senate. I think it's effectively a tax hike. What you thinking on this? Yeah, so these are, th Larry, these are three. One, thank you for your leadership on the Trump tax cuts, you two were indispensable. So first, these are three provisions that are very small in cost uh, or score, but huge uh, for the economy. You know, full, uh, taking full uh, opportunity of research and development and innovation, so crucial. Full expensing of the equipment and technology that will help our supply chain crisis. And then uh, an investment uh, that really encourages investment here in the U.S., uh, an incentive for that investment. These are cr three, I think, very crucial, very small scores attached to them. I will tell you, I was in those negotiations. We fought hard, but Democrats, frankly, always think they have more leverage. They wanted, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars for a child tax credit that hasn't lowered child poverty and has encouraged people to stay home from work. And so that was not uh, a trade. Uh, or a deal that uh, we would accept. You know, the other thing, Kevin, is what, somewhat frustrating about this Senate Republican leadership stuff in giving in to this bill. You know, you could say these are big corporate tax cuts, but the reality is, as we've learned from real world experience, when you lower corporate tax taxes, when you lower small business taxes, for that matter, who gets helped? It is the middle class and the lower middle class and the minority groups that get help the most. So when you chip away by taking the bonus depreciation out, the full expensing, you aren't, it's, it's not the multinationals or the, it's the actual blue collars and the middle class and the Hispanics and the uh, African Americans who get hurt the most. And I just don't know where, there should have been a fight over this. Yeah, there, and I will tell you, we've been, this was our top priority, obviously, besides stopping tax hikes, was positioning these three uh, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act provisions. We built uh, very strong bipartisan support for them. Uh, a lot of groups weighed in for them, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, Democrats just refused to budge on more of the COVID area, Build Back Better, Inflation Act that drove inflation. They insisted on these provisions. And frankly, we, I think, used common sense uh, in rejecting that type of uh, additional spending. The other point I want to make is, yeah, I mean, you're getting to it. I mean, it hasn't been fully scored by the CBO. Um, I, I, I'll call it two trillion. I'll call it 1.8 trillion. I don't care. It's a lot more spending, Kevin. It's a lot more uh, deficits and a lot more borrowing. And it's not going to help the Fed's fight against inflation. No, and it may it hurt. Won't. And it, it may won't. hurt the Fed's fight against inflation. Yeah. And like, there are never any offsetting spending cuts or the pay-go rules are always waived. You see what I'm saying? It's like, where was the fight yeah. over that? So in this, in this, what's frustrating is this spending is on top of $3 trillion more Democrats approved above the budget already. So look, this has been a budget busting uh, two years to add this on top. And I guess for me, in, in, um, among House conservatives and Republicans, we're two weeks away from sharing the power of the purse, one of the biggest powers that you use to rein in a government. You know, that executive overreach, those regulations that drive inflation. We're two weeks away from having a real say uh, in this, this terrible Biden White House. And I think that having the Senate take that pen uh, away from House Republicans mm -hmm. and away from, from uh, Kay Granger, who will be the first Republican woman to lead appropriations, who knows the border, knows military, knows pro-growth, th it has been really uh, frustrating, to say the least. We will miss you, Kevin. We will miss you. Thank anyway, you. I'm not going to lose you. All I'll just say is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, but we will miss you as the head of the Ways and Means Committee. Thank Kevin you. Brady, folks. Same to you, friend.